All right, welcome back. Q13 News this morning, all local, all morning in Renton this week. Now, Renton, not only home to the Seahawks and the VMAC, Boeing, it's becoming a booming hub for healthcare and technology as well. The population grew more than 9% from 2012 to 2017, making it the eighth largest city in our state, and it's only going to grow more in the coming years. Now, one of the major draws to Renton is Renton Technical College, and nationally recognized as one of the best two-year colleges in the entire country. Now, RTC, a place for folks who are looking to switch their careers, and their mechatronics lab is at the forefront of what's happening now inside a factory. So let's check in with Alex. Alexander Lewis live takes us inside. Hi, Alex. Hi, good morning, Bill. Yes, yeah, so one of the seven career tracks offered here at RTC is mechatronics. So you know all of those uh, huge machines and robots that have kind of taken over factories across the nation. We have to keep in mind you need someone to man those machines and heaven forbid fix them if any anything goes wrong. So let's take you inside one of these labs right here. Let's go to the video. Here's the inside of the RTC mechatronics lab. This is a simulated automated conveyor system. This uh, essentially what it does it mimics a machine that you will find in the factories of the nations and the Pacific Northwest biggest factories. We're talking about Boeing, Amazon, and Starbucks. Megatronics is the high, hybrid word of mechanical and electronics, so it's, it's blending the two together. So I think of robotics, and we've got a robot back there in the corner doing its work. What we're teaching here in this, uh, this course is the basics that they'll need for industry. So we start, we have a heavy emphasis with communication and um, safety. So the students at RTC operate this piece of equipment and they maintain and troubleshoot this equipment, simulating some of the most advanced conveyors and factories across the U.S. And this is neat as they become, uh, these students become more proficient at using it. Instructors will intentionally break it so students have to come up with ways to fix it because that's, you know, what they're going to be doing in the real world. You know, one of the, uh, once the mechatronics program is complete, these new technicians can go out in the workforce, I mean, and work anywhere from um, automation to robotics to aeronautics, guys. All right, so we uh, have a few audio problems.